going on youtube this is big drag not the little welcome back to the channel hey listen we hit the 500 subscriber mark let's go ahead clap it up clap it up clap it up clap it up you know what I'm hey listen appreciate y'all everybody who's subscribed everyone who's new to the channel anyone who's been subscribed to the channel i really do appreciate y'all thank y'all for the support listen wait. it's big drank try to take a sip anyway if you are interested in the details of the giveaway if you want to watch the giveaway you want to find out who won etc etc i mean i'm going to announce the winner on this page too and everywhere it doesn't really matter but i'm going to do the live giveaway on twitch probably either there or in discord so for now i want you to go ahead over to the twitch i'm going to be doing it uh next week when a nigga gets paid feels regular life shit i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to y'all i didn't i never knew when it was gonna hit so i didn't really just sit there and pre-purchase it or nothing like that i didn't even know i hit 500 somebody had to tell me one of the subscribers told me which was, was a good feeling that somebody even saw it for me and one of the subs and sent a comment through and somebody sent me a message oh shit my light died uh but yeah let's let's get into it man i appreciate y'all anyway like i said go ahead follow the twitch and uh and just just stay tuned just stay tuned you're gonna you'll see it You'll see the live stream. Anyway, we're going to get into this. This is the interview. No jumper must think just like me because I just did that video on the podcaster who got knocked out. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click up here. Uh, but if you have and you want to get into this, yeah, this is the podcaster from Long Island Trap. I think it was Trap Lounge. Um, he was on that podcast. Uh, this guy named Coco he got knocked out by this dude named Vado. Not the rapper Vado. It's a different Vado uh, from Long Island. Anyway, dude knocks him out. No jumper and Poetic Flacco seem to be thinking the same way as Drank. Flacco, I know, because I watched his video, but oh, that makes sense. He Flacco for no jumper. Uh, anyway, so he's been on no jumper. That's the end thing. The end thing is that he ended up making his way to no jumper, and uh, he sat down with Adam Big Baby Flacco, and I think Lush. Uh, so we're going to see that video now. We're going to get into it. I haven't watched this, at least in whole. I, I definitely didn't watch this part. I think I watched like five minutes of the beginning when I saw it just come up through my thing just to see if it was even a, like what what he was talking about i know this is probably all that he was going to talk about no disrespect because it's the most like relevant recent thing if i'm not mistaken um but the dude probably has a lot more to talk about and we're going to get into it Bring it the first time. <laughs> first time. Yeah, you know, we, yeah, we ain't got some ideas to say. I don't see this, but I mean, look, what's a look? <laughs> so listen, so like dude, listen, so so La Coco said the reason why we ain't beef is cuz i know if we beef somebody going to die. Has somebody died yet? <laughs> No, bro. He doesn't have no steppers on his team. Uh, <laughs> they said, I'm sorry, before you click yeah. the video, his man said he was pulling up. The niggas never pulled up. I, I ain't a lot of Coco gangster though, man. Coco is kind of yeah, gangster though, man. For what? Hey, listen, Coco be running shit out there, man. Where at? Nigga. Yeah, yeah. He, he just want me to say something for yeah, you. Yeah, Long Island, yeah, Coco be running shit out yeah, there, yeah, man. He, he just want to stop my ass. According to Coco, listen though. Bro, according to Coco. You listen according to Coco. Wait, 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 wait. Did he make it out the building? Yes. Unscathed? No, wait, wait, wait. Hey, wait, wait. The video's posted online with the four niggas on the corner, shicey masked up. When the hand was in the bag, why'd you turn around and walk away? According to Coco, Gangster. like the ghouls pulled up and like and niggas that was there was scared and and I top him please. Now I ain't see no ghouls pull up. He said that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> man, wait, wait, he didn't say that, bro. Wait, wait let me see. Everything man. I always say. Uh, Mother in my father's life, so niggas know I'm not lying, bro. But I pull up with the seats and shit. Right. When my hand dug in my bag and he see what was in the bag, why did he turn around and walk away? And I wasn't, I wasn't right. even there for that. We were supposed to have a debate, just like a battle. Wait, hold on, wait. What did you say? To build the audience and everything. You yeah, guys are arguing. So we, the fight. so yo, we all knew that you know we was gonna get chippy, just like with the Styles P and the Dipset versus. Say, hold on. They, you know they said in. We're gonna have to go back into that. I'm not gonna lie. Definition so of chippy. I'm on. loving. Chippy you know, they said in the chippy, who's in the bag? Wait, let me see. Everything man. I always say, I always put my mother in my father's life, so niggas know I'm not lying, bro. But I pull see, up with man. receipts and shit. Right. When my hand dug in my bag and he see what was in the bag, why did he turn around and walk away? What was in the bag? What was in the bag? What do y'all think was in the bag? Comment down below what you think was in the bag. I ain't going to say what I think was in the bag. I didn't I'm saying I didn't say what was in the bag. I didn't even, I wouldn't even do that type of things to you. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to say what you think was in the bag. Hold on. 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 Hold and I wasn't I wasn't even there for that we were supposed to have a debate just like a battle rap face off you know to build the audience and everything yeah I was supposed to debate but was in the bag why did he turn around and walk away 
That's all I'm saying. And I wasn't, I wasn't study. even there for that. You know I mean? We were supposed to have a debate, just like about. Right, you were supposed to have a debate, but. I wasn't even there for that. We were supposed to have a debate, just like about a rat face off. I wasn't. I wasn't even in my bag, and he see what was in the bag. Why did he turn around and walk away? What did he see in the bag? It was gonna get chippy, just like with the Styles P and the Dipset verse. I'm just wondering. They, you know, they said in an interview that they oh, had. We get a could be messy like Flacco. Flacco would say Chevy's guns are like, crazy like, illegal, so it couldn't have been one of those, right? Crazy illegal, right? Audience, when you when when you see in the video, my man's called me. The reason why I'm beefing with him is because of my man's and everything. I really don't have a personal issue with Coco, but bro's from my town. This is He's the person that opened up a podcast spot. Are you from Brandon, and too? Nah, I'm from uh, Corn. That's okay. a 64. Okay, okay. So, when my man's... So, my, me, so wait. My so, he got... He's getting... In, I mean, I respect Ryder for your mans, but getting this deep of a... Into a... You know what I'm saying? Like, over... I don't know though. He riding for his man's. So I don't know the backstory behind what him and this other... What his man's and this other man might have been through or what they might have said to where he needs to ride for him like this, but... You know, if you're riding for his man, it is what it is. I mean, he just gave it up. He, he gave it up. You know, you know what I'm saying? He described exactly what it was. and what Suck my off. dick. You're going to see it there in the it thing. And you said it too when yeah. I said, say that shit again. Say that shit again. I'm not talking to you. I wasn't mm-hmm. talking to you. Then Trapland's like, he wasn't talking to you. But as a man and your character, how does it look? And this is all we all do. You know, I, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. I'm just making a hypothetical yeah. situation. If one of your guests came here and, and told Adam, no disrespect, but yeah. you could suck my dick and blah, blah, blah. Oh, blah, we, blah. We, and, he's getting and, shot. Uh, exactly my point. What? No, like, you're not seeing. Now you're not seeing this to me. But you, look at how look at how Flacco just looked at Lush though. Look at how Flacco looked at Lush. Lush is a meat rider, bro. Nobody's getting shot. Look at- <laughs> Nobody's getting shot. I suck my dick and blah blah blah. Oh, blah, we, blah. We, and, he's getting and, shot. Uh, exactly my point. What? No, like, you're- Flacco's like. Didn't we just have a shooting situation here at No Jumper that we're trying to cover up, Lush? God damn it, Lush. Shut up. Damn it, Lush. You're not saying it. Now, you're not saying this to me, but you're saying this to somebody I work with and I'm with every single Sunday you, you see on the camera. If I don't say no business, you compromising my whole entire character. Yeah, first, then yeah. you following up with niggas is going to die. Now you going on Instagram and saying... Fact, if you saw my video, that was you know, the point the where it seemed like he just had to do fade. But we all know how this whole social media shit is. You would have just got that little clip and posted it and act like nothing ever happened. When you lying the whole time, what exactly happened? And I wasn't there for that camera to go off. Nigga, you said it right now. You said it right there. What the fuck is you talking about when the camera? You said it right there. Now listen, I do want to be fair, right? Cause Coco This nigga. (laughs) He went live with somebody, right? Right? I forgot Uh, a guy. Really? No, he went live with uh, him. Say that? No, him right here. Oh, Trap Land. Shout out to Trap Land. Right? Right? Hey, he's, Shout out Trap Lamb for the original the piece goal. of content and the right. original the video that everybody that I've seen. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. Shout out Trap Lamb. Listen, listen. So if the Google's so, content, so, who's supposed to knock some shit down? But talk about right? the next day and it's on my Instagram. Look at Flacco trying to incite shit. Who's supposed to knock some shit down? Nigga, yeah. Well, everybody got listen. listen, listen. So if the Google's content, who's supposed to knock some shit down? But talk about Flacco, you not knocking nothing down. Well, he did pull up on MJTV. Trap Lamb had this on the Instagram live. So talk about it. Against violence, though. He asked me uh, for my address and yeah. I sent it, but he never pulled up. But what mm. did what did you say? Because you because I know you gotta do what you gotta yeah. do. But when your reaction video, yeah. when he sent the, when he sent me the location, me yeah. my man's the location, yeah. dropped and, went, and, and, and we pulled up. What was his? Response? I hate Lush sometimes. Oh, I dropped low. Yeah, that it was. Now nah, that was crazy. Oh, he was being chippy. Now nah, that was insane. Look. He was being chippy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Come on, bro. Right? Because listen, because if you drop the location. And then it's and then it's like discovered that you drop a fake location. I know his thing. His that thing. right there isn't like no. He, like, thought, he thought they still was getting. I ain't gonna lie. That's smart. Hypothetically, if I had people with you and I, you know what I'm saying, I would drop a location across the street and then hit you with the urine from across the street. That's all I would do. I'm just saying, but that's you know what I'm saying. I, I, I don't Jimmy, you feel me? The, exactly. I fuck with you, Flacco, exactly. but, but like, that's not gangster. Bro. No, no, but but, yeah, but listen, to the the facts, though. L- listen to the facts. Listen to the facts. 
I think it's pretty gangster if you just keep, you know what I'm saying? You, because I, I wasn't there. That's not my address. I don't have nothing to do with that address. I don't even know. I just sent you a random address and then you get there and you get popped. So, because you want to, because he wants to get on other interviews and like, yeah. nigga, you pulled up. How dumb are you that you pulled up to an address that that I gave you? that I don't have any association with and then you got popped. You Bro, this is my hood. Coco's not from my hood. And I don't like the kicking man when he's down, so I'm not going to speak yeah. on the specifics. But, nigga, you live at the Dodson's house. And- oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold on. Adam did not just let. Hold on. Adam let this man dox him. That is illegal. Adam just allowed him to dox when him on his down, podcast. So you're yeah. On the specifics, but nigga, you live at the Dodson's house. No, if you he just let him dox him. I'm gonna have to bleep that out. You live in front of the great Dodson. <laughs> I gotta bleep it out. He just dots, bro. House and corn. If you from corn in my hood, not to be. Oh, no, that's no, crazy. You live in front of the great dots. <laughs> <laughs> no jumper allowing people to get doxxed on their podcast. It's wild. Crack house. Full of crackheads. <laughs> yeah. This is facts. You on my block that I grew up on. You sure. only been there for you only lived in my hood for two months because you ain't had nowhere to go. So I hate when you I've been there for sure. Full, full snare they want to interview, like, oh you nigga niggas could have bum rushed your whole entire like blitzed your whole shit. Yeah. You're not sending me yeah. to nothing I don't know I'm aware of. Sure. Send me somewhere outside the town. We would have thought about it or we would have been more strategic or they would have been more cars there, but bro, stop it, trying is to Long make Island, so is. is Long Island similar to New York and like Nah, New York City gets busy. Long no, no, Island, no, no, we no. get overlooked, but you got no, 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 no. Look, look, I'm I'm very familiar with the territory. I got like a lot of my family from out there and all that. But I'm saying as far as police presence and cameras and shit. It's everywhere. Yeah. New York is dumb burnt. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's real hard to like get shit cracking when it's not gonna be on camera. Is Long Island like a little bit. Everybody got busy everywhere, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just um with Long Island, we have a lot of trees, a lot of yards. That's why you want to look at New York more, City. Yeah. It's a lot more project building. So Long Island, we get looked at as, as a soft person. But bro, I'm not no tough nigga. I'm a vlogger and I work a nine to five job. Like I'm like I, I I'm just a man that like I stand on principles and morals. Yeah. I'm not nothing trying to portray this image. And he goes on an interview and says, expose the rest, expose the you this street nigga, you this this and that. This is the image you're portraying. This is the image, mm-hmm. you know, everybody sees you. And I think that's the problem with black men in America mm-hmm. is that even when you make let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay, and you have an opportunity nobody ever gets a chance to, you know, accomplish. Let's talk about you. People still want to live up to an image. So it's like, bro, you're a multi-million dollar man and everything, but you but you you're supposed to crash out to live to an image. And that's, that's not like, even mutually exclusive. How are you a multi-million dollar man working a nine to five? None of that makes sense. You have never mind. You, that's like a problem with something else going on for sure. Just, you're a multi million dollar man. This society, oh, bro, it doesn't culture make sense. In general, like, like, oh, you know, like men in in America. You feel me? But yeah, of course, like, what's your def- definition of gangster? Yeah, a person that's going to go to jail because because he lived behind the image that people uh, perceive him as, or a person that you know probably came that's from a crash out. Dirt, came from the struggle and everything, and he's able to take care of his family. That's a nigga what, from the hood that made it. Accomplished him by. Exp- Either one of those let's be honest on his platform he he exposed the federal informant, um you know on camera and everything that's cool you could look at the nigga no disrespect to him but you could look at the nigga nigga ain't like that or nothing right. but at the same time you also got rats that them niggas to shoot shit up or whatnot why aren't you exposing them type of people or whatnot mm-hmm. but you want you're a blogger a blogger, that's his job to talk about different various beefs, controversy, things that's going on in the industry whatsoever. I'm a vlogger. What am I gaining out of that besides people want to be like, besides, oh, nah, he stood on business. He exposed the rest. That's not doing nothing for my brand. Hey, let's, hey, let's watch it real quick though. Hey, f- I- we should wait for a break, for a break. <laughs> oh, never mind. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Let's watch it. What the fuck? There's no sound. Right? Can you hear it? But it's not. Like, oh, okay. Now he can. Okay. Okay. That's the content. I don't care. No one with me. I'll tell you. Listen, I'm with the pad. Yo, yeah, listen. I went to pad y'all for a birthday celebration. That's we end up going to the same <laughs> bar that Ben, his girl, and her friends was at. Ben left his girl in the bar by herself. You're ready to fight right there already. I see. Right, so my man suck my dick. Yeah, I see. I'm with my niggas. 
Big Coco, <laughs> man. <laughs> Big Coco. <laughs> Coco is a crazy name. I've only ever known Shorty. Niggas are doing Ben's oh, bad. Oh, now, uh, I, I, me and Ben was arguing on the internet. I knew he's ass. I knew he's ass. So what I do? I... I, what I do? I baited him. What I do? What the fuck you call? I baited him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for the internet, so you pulled up to a crib that I'm not even at. Niggas could have spanked you. Niggas know exactly where his shit is at. Ben and oh, oh, being he, funny. Yeah, oh, yeah. he saved you, niggas, man. He just said, man. Ben and I ain't from you know, Niggas will beat the shit out of Ben. And the, the only reason why I scared you, you and we left it alone, you know what? I love how he knows the words to the interview like that. And the only reason why I scared you, and we left it alone, you know why? You wrong? That's what got me mad. Oh, I'm not so. He's 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 entertaining guy. Wait, it's all my soul. He's entertaining. Oh, I'm not so. Niggas left you left you alone and left you what? You know why? Because if me and you go at it, somebody gonna die. Bro, steady on his soul's when it comes. Look at that. Shit, bro. Hey, stand it on, bro, look at no. this, though. Bro, this is bro. right here. Bro, standing on, on his toes telling you, if we go at it, Simi, bro, somebody Simi, going to die. Toes. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Let me actually like zoom in real quick. Yo, watch the toes, man. This nigga Damn, fuck. crazy. I, I, that nigga's he crazy. Man. He preaching his days. Watch the toes, man. Watch the come on, man. <laughs> your, your cousin, I know your cousin in jail. You bro, it, it, it. You're like, <laughs> you're like Barishnikov. You're like a ballerina. You feel me? You're like, you're like beyond sturdy. You're like, oh, my soul. <laughs> yo, yo, I've been doing this shit for four years, y'all. I've been talking shit to everybody. Go See? Ahead. Uh, go, go, ahead. Right go ahead. Bad go ahead. Man. Well, go we'll ahead. Play, play the actual punch, but yeah. What was it at that go moment like, huh? that, that made you decide? No, that... no, no. Hell no. The punch was actually uh, on screen. Oh, all right. Well, cool, cool. You reacted. What was it uh, that made you decide? Because here you're standing up. What made you decide at this moment? A bad intentions, low. Oh, uh, he just kept. Oh, what? He just kept. I've been doing this for four years, y'all. You're not putting me on that list. Okay. <laughs> you was going to get hit no matter what. Yeah. But th- th- this is the thing. You was going to get hit no matter what after you said to suck my dick thing. Yeah. It was more like, let, let me just wait for the right time. Yeah, that, that, but once you said the four years thing. Yeah, nah, bro. That was the, that was the nah, buzzword. Yeah, four years. Yeah, bro. Okay. So, like, like, you know, he could say Trapland set him up and this, this, and that, bro. I'm the one that asked uh, Trapland for him to come on yeah. because he had one debate why I'm beefing with him or what he wanted to say. Trapland wanted to interview me separately, but I'm more like if we're both in two different rooms, it's going to be a one sided story. So hey, who's really telling the truth? You really, you really don't know. That's why I'm more like, you know, why don't we have both of us sit down? We knew it was going to get chippy. If, we, if you, you know, what we really wanted to talk about, we couldn't get past like one sentence because we're arguing and everything. But right. you disrespecting like that. And then you going on social media. Is that guy in the middle supposed to shout to bro, by the way? That's Trapland. That's Trapland. Yeah. Okay. That's a homie. Yeah. A that's, mu- a, a that's a bro. So he's a, mu- he's friends with him too. Or? More. Oh, cool with Coco. That was okay. my second time on working with them and everything. And Trapland is the moderator in this situation. Right. This is his brand and his establishment and everything. Okay. I would like Trapland. Um, but, this is not an admonishment of you, but, and I get it. He was getting good content, but the interview should have stopped. A little bit more intervention. I agree. The interview definitely should have stopped. Or at least there should have been more intervention. You know, for even given the platform, everything's happening. Um, um, it's a, I, I look, shouldn't even it, speak on this on camera, but you know, I had to pay bro a hundred dollars for disrespecting the spot, and I understand. But my whole entire thing is, it's like nobody probably knew what I was thinking in the back of my head, or like me and him had an hour. Con- me and Trap had an hour conversation. You paid him a, a hundred bucks. After, but then for after, disrespect, you gotta understand. Shout out to bro. For, for his good. son is in his his little son is like this. He's in the store and everything. Oh, blood was all over the floor, mashing nothing broke. But blood, like, wait, he was bleeding. Coco, yeah. Blood? Really? Blood? You didn't see? You, well, we can't say blood because because uh, what? You didn't see that? Because a big six so is in the building, baby. Now you can say it. No, I'm referring to him as the big six so. But y'all said on that scene for me, and that's not cool. But uh, Lush, like like I want to say, Lush was like out of respect and everything. You're probably thinking, he's probably thinking for him. I can't speak for him, but this is how I was thinking. And me and him kind of went at it at first. Now we're cool on good mm-hmm. terms. But what me and Trap was like, 
you seeing everything he was saying to me, you're probably thinking in the back of back of your head, like, oh, this is gonna make for good content. But everybody you should have I would have been like, you know what, y'all, you know, let's stop the interview right now or let's take a break real quick. But it's like, bro, like and, and my whole thing is is like y'all was fucking with each other way before you knew me. I'm the new kid in the building. I've been doing this for one year. It's just I have a good work ethic, so on Long Island, it's kinda like that's how me and work ethic takes out everything. Listen, work ethic will take out everything always going to be the hard work. Katie used to say that shit, hard work beats talent. I was a big basketball guy. Hard work always does. I mean, I say always hard work will always supersede talent. Not maybe not the, uh, the lengths to the, you know, to which, which you become known, but it's always going to out, out, out value talent. In the long run, it'll always have more value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. There it is. I see you. He's not a year too, man. I'm a year. Rick's been doing this, bro. What the fuck? How long I've been here? Oh, podcast. Yeah. Well, 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 yeah, yeah. We're yeah. not talking about prison, but yeah, no, no, right? like that. no, but, no. But, but to but, be fair to Trapland, yeah. like beyond my critique. I, I, I probably would have had the same thought process as you and realized I mean, look at, that this um, is content gold, but it would have been nice if he's a mutual of yours like that for him to at least like try to, I, I wouldn't have necessarily stopped the pod. It could be good content though. Oh, look, 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 at, look at, look at almighty suspect and, uh, uh Kelpie. Well, yeah, and Kelpie, right. you know, I'm sure after mm. the bitch thing, mm. me, I know what it's like. If you call a grown man, a bitch, whether the cameras is there or not, but you don't know that that could be good content. That whatnot, was content, so. but then like I think it was more the speaking on Benjamin Franklin because you know like you know you can that's not like that. holds, you, that's like you know like a dear he been wanted to hit him but yeah. like his energy was my energy towards that bro I, I before this whole interview we been pulled up to your crib and everything I have been wanting to hit you I'm just respectful of the Pull whole situation because this is your establishment and kids in the bro. spot mm-hmm. but just like the all uh, suspect situation the watch your mouth so, nigga but yeah you know he the Benjamin thing was probably triggering but he wasn't going to hit him you calling another man bitch and no, I, on I camera? was totally joking are you about saying suck my yeah, dick on camera either, yeah. bro all bets is off wait <laughs> yo if he couldn't tell that Lush was trolling that would be supremely sad I, I hope he could tell that Lush was trolling with that comment I really really do and it's kind of funny that Lush had, like felt like he had to tell him I, I feel I hope bro was also trolling by even answering it in that way but hey listen man that was what it was man shout outs to Trapland TV Coco Bado, no jumper, you know, lush brick. Everybody who sat down and had that conversation. Shout out no jumper clips for the original clip there. Let me know what you guys think down below. What would you do in this situation? I mean, the, the man's been knocked out on camera. They're talking about him getting violated. They was, he was talked about being violated in a whole different way. If you watch the original video, now if you want to kind of understand what I mean by that, you gotta watch the video. It's gonna be right here about uh, my reaction with him getting getting knocked out on camera to go into the reasoning why he and him bro have like original beef anyway which is crazy bro it's, it's, it's crazy anyway comment down below let me know what y'all think man hit me in the comments drop a four drop anything let me know that you guys are here man hey like i said we hit that 500 subscribers so go ahead and Turn on the notifications if you haven't already so you don't miss any new videos, but also head over to the Twitch and subscribe or follow whatever it's called over there because that's what we're going to do the giveaway. Love you all. See you on the next one. Giveaway next week.